Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 and War of the Chosen. This is Saving Your Disaster Campaign, the Meat Grinder, Episode 5. My name is Saiken and we're going to play Operation Swamp Fist today. Uh, we're trying to get another engineer, uh, mainly to uh, optimize uh, the uh, Avenger a bit, but what's more important is we're going to level up some troops and I'm more than stoked because look at that, we finally got Vault, uh, the rescued Templar who's going to uh, join us on this, on this fine mission. He will lead our troops, and it has been a while since I was playing with decent soldiers. Uh, him being a colonel, uh, pretty well leveled, uh, plus having a mine shield and blade storm will make things a lot easier. Other than that, we uh, now got Aftermath, our sniper with us. Um, we got uh, Squad Yang. Um, who steps in as a grenadier sonar, uh, who is going to be our healer for uh, for this mission, and finally Spark 002, uh, sort of hanging in there. Let's directly jump into it. We should not have uh, a lot of problems on this mission, it should be relatively straightforward, although I am totally expecting that we're going to run into um, the assassin at some point, but that's fine. And there we landed. Uh, welcome everyone to the mission. Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area. Primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. All right, priest, shield bearer, uh, plus uh, stun lance are there. It's going to be a tough pack. Double archon codex. Where's the last one? That's an easy pack. Good. With full sight, we really shouldn't run into much uh, trouble whatsoever. Mm. Given that we need to disable the transmitter, I'm almost inclined to kind of aggressively move in, trigger this pack, and take it from there. We got our um, psionic student, I would call it, Theodore um, Laurent, with us. Uh, the only thing that he actually could do is stasis and shoot a little bit, so I gave him a medkit to help out uh, with a few more tasks. Go, go, go. I am going to use him aggressively. Aftermath or sniper, we'll take point up there. I've got enemy movement here. Okay, so she theoretically has line of sight to those guys as well. Damn, after playing with Hogbite, Vault just doesn't feel the same. He can move far, but not Hogbite levels of movement. Yeah, let's move up here, mainly because I want to engage um, to that pack soon as well. Spark. You know, since it can't take any cover, might as well put it up here. And sonar will be more in the back line, even considering putting Maximilian Richter there. Nah. So we could end up pulling two packs, but. I wouldn't be totally uh, sad about that. We do have a Mimic Beacon and the faster we can handle those two packs the better. This here is a bit more of a difficult um, pack simply because um, it has a lot of hit points. Okay, fair enough.
See, since we do have Bladestorm, one of the best openings there is, is charging in. That will not trigger. Uh, charging in and afterwards hitting everyone with a blade storm. Yep. They spotted us. We might have triggered the other pack. We did. But that's fine. And there's the blade storm. Still worth it. I do not mind them engaging at all. Okay, but before we do anything, let's continue and plan out who the Mimic Beacon Thrower is going to be. Probably Laurent up in here. Moving in. I know we're flanked, but that's not going to be an issue. Yeah, I was hoping that we would essentially get both of them. But that's unfortunately not the case. Get ready for a surprise. All right, we bought ourselves another round. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. We got rid of him. Um, I know how we're going to deal with the Stun Lancer, that's pretty simple. Just putting our Bladestorm Templar right next to it. Alright, let's move up. And before we're going to take a shot, we're going to go into overdrive. That is unfortunate. Perfect, so let's continue here to that I'm gonna make sure that we're getting rid of the priest or at least put him into sustenance. There we go, that's sustenance right there. And in terms of... Usage of the Mimic Beacon. Positioning ourselves here. And let's just place the Mimic Beacon over here. They're moving to flank me. Uh, that's the Chosen most likely coming in. Ah, there we go. I figured she would join us sooner or later. So many have already Let's take a look. She can be bewildered. Once she takes three plus attacks, she takes extra damage. That's good. Uh, we don't have a Reaper, so that's not very good. Planeswalker is an absolute nightmare with her. I absolutely, I really, really don't like it. Blast Shield. 
Uh, buddy, you got a pretty uh, nasty RNG here. Beast Monster is bad. That's okay. And she does not trigger Overwatch fire. Yeah, so she's quite a cutie. Specifically the Planeswalker, in my perspective, was always, together with melee immunity, one of the worst abilities ever. The chosen assassin is moving near your position. Stay on guard, people. There's the Bladestorm kill that we were expecting. It's going to be another shot. Blazing pinions, I was almost expecting that. It's probably over here, yep. But that's fine. We're absolutely doing alright. Uh, the Chosen will take two turns for getting to us. So that's okay. So I like to kill the Codex, but let's start with Lightning Hands. Not using it on the Codex, because it would most likely just start to separate it. Whilst well, the full hit with a Sniper would have killed it. Would have, should have, could have. Not good enough, Saiken. Good. Moving in, let's get this kill and the focus. They die as warriors, as great a death as one could hope for. Good. We want to make sure that we're a bit further away from the explosion, if possible. I am almost inclined to use stasis on the Archon up here. Essentially moving in and killing uh, the Codex. Codex itself is not so dangerous though. It's just annoying. We also don't want to be pushed back. I mean, we could go aggressive to here and deal with Codex. It's probably the right call. Uh, the problem is okay. the remaining Archon. Let's Codex down. We can take Parry, but the Archon has uh, the unfortunate uh, tendency to pick other targets. It could fly in and just take a uh, shot at the flame target. We don't want that to happen. Let's see if we can get down the, uh, the Archon up here. And then we can stasis the other one. Do you want to use um, a Mimic Beacon? Nah. Not yet. Closing on target position now. Although, thinking about it, when else am I going to use it? Uh, the Chosen is the immune against Mimic Beacons, so it's not really going to make much of a difference. Might as well place a Mimic Beacon right here. And keep the stasis for now. Not the worst play. Confirm. 
moving into cover. And continue to focus this Archon, who is almost dead. Um, just for shits and giggles, let's do parry. So that's the advantage of knowing exactly which packs we're going to fight against. Simply because we knew that both of them are there. It's really no reason for not engaging on them. So the Chosen started behind the main room and will probably have moved much closer. Oh, she even made it completely uh, to there, uh, but luckily we parried. Just as quickly as you destroy these meaningless facilities, the elders build another in its place. You've well, hello there. Rage. Let's take it out. The elders have been too lenient with you, too clever in their ways. I will leave you with no questions. All right, so one of the things, she's immune again, uh, immune to explosions, but that doesn't mean we cannot shred her. Before we do anything though, so the chance of hitting these clowns. Well, it's okay. Wish we had some high ground, because that would mean uh, that we uh, could actually use death from above. In absence of the high ground, what I am going to do is load, um, load up more focus. And Aaron core is okay. It's a good start. Continuing to harass the Archon. Fortunately, it dodges even with a 97% shot. For those of you who are unaware, by the way, the network uh, separation cooldown um, is on halt. That is because we've currently we're currently engaged with the Chosen. The game essentially gives you a little break. Of course, he's a master of dodge. Exactly what we need right now. I don't want to trigger that other pack. But out of curiosity, could I see the chosen? <laughs> She's just barely out of range. Good for her. Because otherwise we would have stasis her. I'm on the move. Good. I'll keep his action. Maybe shred her if needed. a pretty decent aim. I like it. What's our chance to hit her? Only 40%. Nah, we're going to try to end him. 
Okay. That worked out well. Still got momentum available, and I think although she's immune to explosions, that's still the right move. It'll take care of her armor. She probably will summon next. I'm just moving up here because in case she runs uh, to this crowd, uh, she'll get a hit from the blade storm. And it's very unlikely that she goes for the Templar again. Now uh, there's the summoning chrysalids. No, even better. Wonderful, faceless ones. Yeah, that is not a problem. That is not a problem as well, because I got the mind shield. Ah, uh, I don't know, the blind might... And the blind might be go through the mind shield. No, it's not. So we could explode her, let her fall down. And then focus on her. It because she would also destroy that transmitter on there. Question is, is yeah, that's exactly the explosion I was looking for. So that'll be two falling damage for her. Plus, she's without cover, and that's what I wanted in the first place. Oh, yeah. Theoretically got another Mimic Beacon. I don't think that we will need it uh, this turn. I'm wondering why we aren't able to see her. Yeah, we would pull the other pack if we, if we got ourselves too close and uh, too closely engaged. <laughs> That's unfortunate. We definitely need to take care. Of these jokesters here. You will pay the price. Okay, we got momentum. I will position him here. Because there are going to be reinforcements, and that means three free attacks. Um, can we position ourselves anywhere in range to be able to see her? Oh, that is so unfortunate. We could position ourselves over here. And then, yep, yeah, I think I'm going to stasis her.
I think I'm going to stasis her. Which means the decision has been made. We're going to take care of her beast like companions this turn. What did you expect? There is no shame in their deed. They know nothing of their actions. Affirmative. Moving out. Moving to here. Unfortunately, the blindness prevents us from hitting her. Yeah, we can still start to wail down on her. Oh, I forgot she had plane, uh, Planeswalker. Uh, that was unfortunate. Should have done that. But luckily, she's not completely out of range. Unfortunately, though, I just realized she's immune to stasis. I wasn't aware that that was a thing. Yeah, the reinforcements. And there's the blade storm. They're well protected. All three of them essentially start with half health. Now it's just a matter of the Chosen taking one turn. She does not have her summon. She does not have her grenade. Maybe Harbor Wave. Maybe Vanishing Vince. Beyond perception, I will deliver you to the next world without delay. Father really outdid himself, didn't he? The problem with Vanishing Winds is she could be literally everywhere now. She's usually taking, um, taking positions which are a bit further away. Let's first begin with a Volt. Good, so reinforcements dealt with. Check mark. Running dry. Ready to engage. Yeah, we're probably going to take a single hit. I want to get the loot, that means next turn I might trigger the other uh, pack. That is back here, maybe. She's immune to Overwatch. Um, yeah, I can stay in this position, even without ammunition. Alright. So, already mentioned that she is in Overwatch. Could use the Mimic Beacon. It's, she's immune to that as well. Yeah, reloading, we do have free reloads, so that really wouldn't do us any good. So, I'm taking Long Watch mainly because of uh, the, the additional pack back there.
Well, needless to say that I am highly disappointed about that. One of our soldiers is in a daze. We need to snap them out of it. Go medical. Okay. So that was disappointing. Fortunately, we didn't have a battle scanner. And as usual, we're very close, but not quite there. Why wouldn't we be able to see her if we're standing over here? There we go, a nice hit. We're taking a lightning hand shot. Fire pistol shot. Very nice, she's bewildered. And she's taking a lot of damage. I'm ready. Perfect. Reload and let's take a shot. Thankfully we got the stock installed on that weapon, meaning she's forced to walk further. And that should be it. There we go, she got one attack off. Which is unfortunate, but it was just a matter of uh, finding her, and I unfortunately went into the wrong direction. There was no cue uh, from the camera, like no movement that uh, could have given her away. Sometimes happens. We're probably going to trigger the last pack. We're not. Interesting. But, with everything... Oh, we can't take them, although we have the side trap. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, moving up. We have a wonderful line of sight with our sniper, so we're going to take a long watch. Sparks moving in. We're making sure that we're having plenty of time. Rolling out. And it should be only one pack, and then we should be ready to go. 
Took a hit on our sniper. That's unfortunate. There's the trigger. Get it together. Ah, enemy is still up. Good, very good. Spark moves in, takes point right there. Problem solved. Just barely not uh, getting a flanking position. But that's fine. We would have a stasis if all else failed. Yeah, but we don't even need that. We had plenty of other opportunities to kill him. Location confirmed. And since we know that there is no enemy and no further reinforcements, we might as well just Rock and roll. continue to move in. I'm on it. Copy that. We've got the objective in sight. Solid copy. Good, everyone moves. Into the direction of the objective. On the move. As you direct. I enjoy the rush of air against my senses. Just for good measure. And let's end this mission. charges are active perfect got another five ability points unfortunately only an excellent and not a flawless mission but i think all uh, things considered we did well. well good here we go again we got two pro three promotions actually aftermath finally got her death from above which is helpful that'll increase her damage just a tiny bit Good, we got Rainmaker, equipped heavy weapon deals 2 damage and have increased area of effect. That would be uh, like maybe cover removal or attack an enemy uh, with a powerful melee attack. I like the strike part because it really um, offers some more uh, flexibility. The Rainmaker piece is great for cover removal. I feel though uh, that... Um, uh, the spark already has plenty of cover removal, so we're going with a strike here. And yeah, shredder all the way. The question. Got an alarium core, and uh, two alarium cores actually. An engineer. And we got ourselves a new. Uh, trainer, so the psionic training will be faster. We no longer need to decide between psionic training and um, creating items faster. We can do both at the same time. I think overall that was a successful mission. Training center wise, not much that we can skill at the moment. Yeah, we only got 12 AP. I like 
the run and gun piece, to be honest. But it's only one action, so we will need to get the chosen rifle. And then run and gun will be incredibly good. The other option is that I uh, just as extra damage. And quick draw isn't bad either, um, for various reasons. We're together with fanfire, it's even better. So let's get quick draw. That's good. I think we got 11 points left over, which means... Sonar here. I want to get the Haywire protocol that I mentioned uh, at the beginning. Not a bad option. It's essentially a mind control um, for mechanical units, and it's super good. Um, supplies, thanks, but no thanks. Not at the moment, we need to get And that was pretty successful. So we're getting back on course. I'm anxiously waiting for the covert actions to finish. Nice, we got a Wrath suit. And we can now finally put in some time uh, to, to do what's needed. So we can recruit Templars, I like it. But another Templar faction soldier would be absolutely fantastic. Skirmisher um, or Reaper. Oh. Okay, we're going to take. Uh, we're going to recruit the Reaper. Plus, there's a promotion in it. So, how how the hell could I say no? Yeah. Just double checking since there is a chance for an ambush. Yeah, both of them are very well equipped. Seven days. Yes, please. I'll order my people to get underway We're going to get some faction soldiers. That's the highest priority at the moment. I'm fine with the Avatar um, project for now. But getting some more colonels will help us. Loyalty amongst uh, thieves is bad because we're, uh, that means every uh, chosen will make progress at the same time. Domination is great making our Psy operative even so much better. Fortress, just a fantastic defensive ability. He's getting all of the nice abilities. Stasis, Domination Fortress. I am sure you will find the results to be Perfect, there's the Archon King Autopsy. It also means we're having um, the Icarus suit. Adaptive combat sims is good. It allows us to basically um, attach and uh, remove um, PCSs. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. What can I do for you, Commander? Good. We got some. Uh, resources at the moment, so let's see if we can get the Icarus armor. Uh, we need more Elarium. That's unfortunate. Uh, you know, let's go with the Hunter's Axe because it is such a good item. I don't know why you wouldn't uh, use that. And since he can create uh, heavy weaponry immediately. Very nice, we got a shredder gun, that is good. It'll allow us with our, um, uh, with our uh, suit to um, finally load something a little bit better than the standard rocket. Could have gone for a second spark, but I think we're okay for now. Located. 
got several alien alloys, that's good. Grenade and ammunition wouldn't be too bad. The loot isn't bad either. No, I guess we're going Avengers with the grenades. The game gives us a lot of resources for free at the moment, noticing that we are pretty much in a pigeonhole. Um, that's the Hunter's Axe, which is another great item. One that we might want to upgrade in a second. Let's get the Frost Bomb. Because we'll get it's right yet away. another I'll really, really strong order. item. New orders, Commander. Oh, he has not used the Templar upgrade. How could you have a Templar on the highest level and not take a Celestial Gauntlet upgrade right away? Another Tenelarium right there. So we're missing the Elarium. The question is, can we purchase it for Intel? Avenger plotting new course. So we got plenty of alloys. Market is open. Yeah, there we go. Favor your victory, for there are no assurances of a future for any of us. Hello, Commander. Good. Let's start with the Celestial Gauntlet because it's the most important update. The Fusion X isn't bad either. Um, yeah, we're taking the spark armor over the axe. The axe isn't super, uh, is very good, but isn't absolutely critical. So that's enough to just get the other upgrades here. Commander. Let's get the spark upgrade, because that means our spark finally has some more armor. And we're continuing to get free resources. We're eventually catching up quite a bit. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. So, look at that. Almost no, nothing that happened. We couldn't conquer all of the dark events, but that's fine. But look at all of our achievements in the last month. It very much swings in our direction. Attempt to sabotage the other, uh, Avenger. That's okay. Uh, yeah, covert actions. It's not a problem. And there will be an initial dark event. Okay, fair enough. Uh, double C effort to hunt down the commander, seeking uh, to capture soldiers, yeah, more likely to appear, we got that already. The Viper Poison is a bit of a problem, I don't want that. Yeah, I think we're okay. Good. That's the scientist plus intel, and if we're not going to do it, we're going to lose um, the northern part of South America. We don't uh, want that, of course, so we are indeed going to go there. Word is, we've got a new trick or two available, Commander. Maybe we should Only thing the that I would want to uh, have is the covert action finished before we're essentially going there but we can already fly over setting course for brazil commander tygen and shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the skull jack to good use well I guess uh, the game already decided for us what we're going to do, which is um, doing an ambush. 
And in order to achieve their codex mutant, in order to make that quick and dirty, uh, let me just play it real fast so you get two missions for the price of only one episode. I don't want to make a full episode just for an ambush. All right, we're back. Let's do this and do it relatively quick. Double time. Moving up there. Soon uh, the enemies should uh, come in. There we go. They're bringing in reinforcements. Wraith One, your team is compromised. We're picking up Advent response forces inbound on your position. Overwatch. And Overwatch. And as per the usual, it is a captain and a trooper. We've got Advent here. If we're lucky, we're hitting both of the Overwatch shots, killing the Advent captain right away. That's one hit. And of course, he dodged the second one. The biggest problem for him, though, is he can easily be killed with just a single shot. Him being the Advent Captain. Position confirmed. Taking a nice flanking position. Fortunately, not enough damage. But, since we do have death from above... Oh wait, no, that is the other... Ah, that is the, the other... Um, that is the other Grenadier. We don't have death from above. Ah, that's unfortunate. Moving on target location. Unfortunately, took some damage. That means in our next engagement, Sonar here will not be with us. Which is a shame. Which is a shame because he helps to keep everyone healed up. And I was thinking we had the other Grenadier all in, is her name, because she had death from above. I, I should have just looked. I was sloppy. Alright, we know there's a mutant here. Perfect. That is good intel. Confirmed. Moving up the ladder. a way to just start mowing down on them. Enemy eliminated. That's fine. I'll get them next time. They can't reach either of our soldiers. Gonna need to reload soon.
Interestingly enough, they took the other ladder instead of just stupidly standing there. Good. We're going to Overwatch. And they'll eventually just charge at us. Unfortunately, one of the downsides of the class. Let's take another kill here. Hopefully, also get a promotion soon. Good. We know there is a mutant right up ahead. The echoes of a new swarm howling. Moving on target location. Scanning. Come get some. Alright, it will not spawn here, it will spawn over here. And again, just run into us. Mutant has moved further to the street. That's fine. High ground over there. Confirmed. And moving in just a tiny bit closer. With low level advance of this year. Uh, with low level of um, XCOM uh, soldiers, uh, this is more of a challenge than I would have expected. Simply due to their lackluster aim. Yang here a chance to essentially get another promotion. Because once a soldier has gotten a promotion, uh, they can't get another one in the same mission. Target eliminated. Got it covered. Rock and roll. Good. Mutant is going to be our next target. On the move. Solid copy. All right, sprinting over, changing sides. We're going to engage the mutant next turn. And we gotta hurry because there's another swarm almost on the way. There's the mutant. I forgot the grenade will trigger the swarm. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Well, it can't reach us in one turn, so we're fine. On the 
All right, mutant down. Only the loss to go. Time to earn the promotion. Getting a promotion, or is that even possible? Yeah, maybe he'll get it after the mission, but still, I'll keep killing them. That's the next one. The last one is going to be a codex. Can we get him? Come on. Just a tiny bit further. No. I think we cannot get him. Rolling. But I also think that that is not going to be a problem because the shield bearer will lose to this shield bearing ability. Adjusting aim. And that's pretty much about it, plus we're in full cover. Interesting, when he's alone he's not going to use Good. That almost took him out. Thinning out the f uh, the pack just a tiny bit here. to arrive, that's fine. Let's try to kill the shield bearer. Well, he'll have plenty targets with the loss. And he's opting for his special ability to take more hit points, that's fine. We can kill him next turn. Soft, and we're getting some loot on top of it. Running dry. Good riddance. Back online. On Good. Overwatch. Only a codex left. Everything else is cleared out. Headed there now. The data pad isn't bad. It's essentially free intel. 
Moving out. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Getting into full cover, Overwatch, and it's just Codex left. I'm ready. Overwatch. Hostile contact. There's a swarm coming up. Heading to that location. Moving to Overwatch. Scanning. Overwatch, Overwatch. And we know the Codex is up there. Did not run into our line of sight. It's probably the, uh, probably the last set of loss. Now yeah, the Codex is standing there. Good. Well, that was a 96% shot, unfortunately missed. The losses are moving into our direction and not um, onto the Codex, which is unfortunate. From my experience, it's about a two-third of a chance to go for our operatives and around 33-ish percent percent chance to go for the enemies. Out of rounds. Come get some. Come get some. There we go. Fun fact as well, overboard shots do not trigger the special ability clone. We have high ground. Yes, we do. Good. Well, it's as good as it gets. Maximilian Richter had uh, death from above. Should have used that at the beginning. Alright, maybe not as quick as I would have anticipated and also not as clean as I would have anticipated, but we got some loot out of it and a promotion for uh, Maximilian Richter. So. I guess overall it was fine. Not the cleanest mission, but okay. I can't imagine and there we go again. I see the two promotions. Perfect. Exactly what we were looking for. So uh, we're going for demolition as well. I like threat assessment, it's just incredibly good. for four days. Got the stock, the data pad will be good. Codex brain is okay. Probably should build the skull jake. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. And nice. Um, not only did he get a promotion from the actual ambush, the uh, reward of uh, the uh, mission was 
also another promotion. So Maximilian Richter is now a major. Perfect. Well, I think overall it was still very much worth it. Look at that. We got another promotion for him. Guardian versus Ever Vigilant. I'm usually going for Guardian. The extra shots are helpful for him. And this here is just fantastic. Isabella Stiletto. Uh, got 114 AP. That's fine. We're starting with the most important stuff, which is remote start. I like Shredder. That uh, is a fantastic ability. Squad side, not for her. Um, I like the extra explosion radius. I like the extra Claymore. I like Sting. Um, I like Silent Killer <clears throat> because she will stay unrevealed. Needle plus Shredder together is a really powerful combination. I like Banish. Twenty-five points for an highlight um, are probably a little bit too much. The homing mine. Um, isn't bad either but let's see what we can get because it's not a question if the kernel skills are good they are good it is a question is one kernel skill and needle better or should we take that 12 Hmm. I mean, the homing mine itself is very strong. There's no question about it. The Annihilate is good with an extended magazine. That's fine as well. I really like the Needle Shredder plus Blood Trail combination. That is another way of um, just dealing with highly armored targets. So that's a strong combination. The Annihilate isn't bad either. Mm, I think we're going with Needle plus Shredder plus Blood Trail. Might be counterintuitive not to go for any of the kernel skills. Um, homing mine is good, don't get me wrong. And we do have points left over, so uh, she will eventually get one of those skills. But she definitely had all of the important skills for now. She got the powered upgrade. Superior autoloader isn't bad either. So let's take that. And let's take the advanced laser side because her crits are dealing a lot of damage. So we got two kernels <clears throat> and a major. So we should be fine on the next mission. One thing that we didn't do is pick a new covert action before ending today's episode. And why could we recruit another Reaper? Well, that would be pretty damn good if we would be doing that. The game must be thinking we really, really need the support. 
I mean... Why wouldn't we not do that? Let's... Put Yan here onto the mission. He theoretically could be wounded, but that's fine. And in six days we're getting another Reaper, Colonel. Yeah, I, I think I like the odds of that. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Super strong class. And yeah, very soon we're going to go for this mission here. Operation Icebreaker will be in our next episode. Um, for, for now, we're going to end uh, today's episode. As always, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing or leaving a nice comment down below. Always helps the channel. And take care. See you in the next mission. Bye-bye.